It's not on you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's not unusual, blood. It's not unusual to be in a title race. Man United moving like Carlton Banks right now. We're, we're, listen, we're heading in the right direction. You can see it. Everyone can see at home. Points getters. That's what we do. We get points. My praise, first of all, has to go to the manager. The manager's looking from the sidelines. You know, he's got the bald head like me. And he's swinging to himself. Rah. The left-hand side is crazy. They kept on getting through. Listen, it was like, you know when you go to the supermarkets and the door just opens, fam. You just expect it to open. That's how Leicester were moving. Go through, go through. Shop till you drop. Again, Ten Hag's looking at things. He's thinking, I've got young Ganacho over there. Do I want to do this? Do I want to take his confidence? Nope. Wait till half time. Makes the right decision. He comes off and we close that situation. That situation's handled. It's dealt with. Now... We move, we move into what we like about this team. I don't know where we want to start. Let's start with David De Gea. Ladies and gentlemen, from today, yeah? From henceforth. That's what my daddy used to say. From henceforth, never again. I, <laughs> I hope you're hearing me. <laughs> I hope you're hearing. <laughs> they always let you know. My dad would tell me, from henceforth, we are not doing that again, okay? You had to learn to stop being stupid. <laughs> That's what my, my dad told me to learn to stop being stupid. We had to learn to stop being disrespectful when we're talking about David De Gea. David De Gea, David De Steyer, David didn't go no way, stayed here and he proves, he, he proves again, he's a title winning, um, he's a title winning keeper. He is because keepers have to stay alert and do their job. Playing, on the, playing at Man United is a very difficult job and you've seen the shirt is heavy for too many. The shirt fits him fine. Yes, distribution's been bad, but this guy's never been coached. He's finally got a coach that's had these expectations. We've had no expectations. We've been playing our football willy-nilly. Now we're seeing what we're getting from David De Gea. We move forward, though. We have to talk Delo today. I was saying, raw Delo coming out of the cold. Is he going to be good enough? wan has kind of got a shirt. Delo, he's dangerous. Diogo, we see what he can bring to the team. There's so many, there's so many different things that I could praise and say, you know what? I love this. I love this. Lindelof, we're here now. Lindelof. The Wraith, the Rolls Royce, the Wraith, the Phantom, has kept him out. He's, he can't let him play, yeah? But you can see what he does. Maguire gave him a bad name. I have to say it. Maguire's pulled this guy back because we've seen that this is a quality player. Unfortunately, he's just playing with the wrong partner. So everyone looks bad. I believe in this player. I think, again, if this game we'll be going to see him, I'm not going to grumble or moan. I saw him in the starting lineup. I was cool with it, you know? But then... We move forward. Sabitza. Sabitza's been covering Casemiro. Sabitza's come in 10 men against Crystal Palace. And ever since then, his performances have grown. We're seeing a player right now that believes in himself. We're seeing a player that's getting involved in things. We're seeing a player that is integral to the team's football. Once again, he's the pass before the pass. In that he, makes that key, um, he makes that key moment where he steps in. And I think he, um, the ball goes to Bruno. Bruno. First time, you see what happens. You lot hate me when I talk about Bruno Fernandes, yeah? Let me do my best for Bruno Fernandes, yeah? You hate when I talk about him, but I don't care, blood. Bruno, is he the answer to the right-hand side? Is he? Bro, listen to this. Bruno is the answer. I'm telling you right now, no matter what, you, what they should have done, yeah? If you got Bruno Fernandes playing on the right-hand side, pepper him. Run to that side and try to try to stop this man from playing his football. You should really be running down his wing because he's not a real natural right-hand side player. But you know, you, you trust Bruno's going to cover every blade of glass. He's going to be there. Yeah? I'll, I'll be there. Trust me when I say this. I'll be there. Bruno's going to be there. And what does he do going forward? We got this thing where what we're, what we're getting from him where even though he's on the right, he's engaging players and he's finding space. So the ball's in from behind. It's, it's, it's working. It literally, I can't believe what we're getting from Bruno Fernandes right now. The output has been brilliant for me. I don't think he's wasting the ball, look, not looking after it properly anymore. Yeah, he'll still take that mad shot. But Bruno, I'm okay with that. Again, other things to talk about. White way course. Now, I give white way course. I think I'm known for giving white way course a hard time. But then DJ gave the perfect, um, the perfect breakdown for what this player is. He's a defensive striker. Yes. He occupies the space. He's important to the way our team's actually playing football, but we had to move him forward. He, we had to actually see him in a nine. We didn't get a lot from him in the nine, but you're talking about some of the tackles he's making. You're talking about if he could just, if he could get clinical, yeah, 
it would be one of the players that you say, you know what, he deserves to stay. At the moment, big man, I'm on, I, 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 I'll, I ain't going to lie, it's looking kind of immigration-y right now. It's looking kind of... It's looking kind of... I don't know if you can stay, big man. How long How long you here for? It's looking like that, bro. Because, again, the goals are not there, but then he is occupying the space. But we can't just have man here just say, ah, oh, you occupy the space really well. Yes, he's, he's good, but there is there we could level it up. I don't want to I don't want to rinse him because I would love to see him win some silverware and he has a big chance to win silverware this season. Listen, Europa League, we're in that one of the best teams in Europa League. Yeah? Right now, Car Car what Carabao Cup. The final's coming soon. He could win that as well. There's another thing that I'm trying to win. Yeah? Because you lot understand when I look at me when I say this, we're in the title race, blood. We're in the title. <laughs> are you mad? We're in the title race. And I told you, one striker away. We are one striker away, bro. And yeah, he came in, defensive striker, but look what we're doing. Everyone told me other positions need to be sorted out. Nah, bro. My manager knows what he's doing. I've got a manager that's managing, yeah? And you're seeing it. Players coming in, you're talking about squad depth. Where's Anthony? We ain't seen Anthony in a long time. Bruno's playing over there. Where's Casemiro? Casemiro's got a red card. Don't worry, Sabitz is going to play there. Ericsson, where's Ericsson? Don't worry, it's fine. Wild's going to play there. What? <laughs> this is madness. Man United fans, I'm, I'm, in, I'm on cloud nine. I go into games knowing that we're going to win. That's a big difference. You think about where we was last season. I go into games knowing that, you know what? This is, how many goals are we going to score today? Two, three, we're keeping clean sheets. And we're changing things up. Again, players are getting rested. And this is not, it's not too much football. I think the mindset is clicked in that every game matters. Every game's a big game and every game counts. And we're seeing that. All I'm seeing from Man United is quality, quality, quality. Again, I enjoy watching my team. But Ten Hag, Ten Hag's the main man that needs the praise. Because we're talking about Sancho. Sancho, a lot of players, um, a lot of players will be gone, right? A lot of players, for instance, a big player like that, you won't take him out of the squad. Ten Hag needed Sancho when, when he was, when he was not, I won't say AWOL, but when he was out of the squad. And look what happens. Yes, Sancho, Sancho goes to Amsterdam, is with people that Ten Hag trusts, gets his fitness back, gets the mindset back. We're talking about focus. And now he's returned. Ten Hag, Sancho scored two goals. And he's going to score more. You know, you look at him now and you say, he's talking about you never leave a player like Sancho out. So he knows how, how in, in crucial Sancho is to the squad, but you just see manager managing. What he's done with Rashford, incredible. Rashford scored what? What are we on now? 20, how many goals? 24 goals. Rashford, 24 goals for Marcus Rashford. And it talks about a player that got, got like five goals last season. Again, it's the manager's trust. It's manager believing in him and telling these guys, you know what, there's quality there. All we need to do is focus and you're seeing it. If I choose my man in a match, I have to choose Marcus Rashford. I have to because we were under the caution. Yes, De Gea was saving us, but if Rashford doesn't score that goal when he does, we're in trouble. So I have to give it to the one and only Marcus Rashford. Well done. You're killing it. Keep killing it, bruv. I'm looking forward to our next game. Peace. Go on. Ah, rivals. Ha, 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 ha.